Hello everyone, this is Harvest Harry here and today you join me in my soon to be finished Starlight Drive-In and in light of the upcoming update that includes these beautiful bastards I thought I'd show you a fitting place to actually put all of these signs and gubbins by showing you how to build a pub or bar. So, let's build! Okay, so to start off this build, we're actually going to be starting off with a prefab. This uh, this video isn't really uh, for the outside structure, if that's what you're looking for. This is more for a format. A format that you can use in any structure that you want, big or small. This is to show you how to build a pub from the inside out, not from the outside. First bit of decor we're actually going for is a, uh, a gun on a rack because what self-respecting pub doesn't have a double barrel shotgun on a shelf behind the bar. As I'm sure you know if you've ever tried to do this, this is an absolute pain in the arse that required quite a lot of fucking about, so yeah. Cue the music. Oh, thank god that's over. Next part is actually going to be power. Just for, you know, just for lights and stuff, so nothing, nothing, no enormous generators or anything. Uh, I'm not going to be too picky about where I put the uh, the conduits and the pylons, as, as I said, this is more about the inside and the format that you can use it for, and less about, you know, what the outside looks like. I mean, you can make, you know, all the generators and stuff look nice in your build, but I'm not going to dick around with it too much in this video. Okay, now that's done, now for the actual lighting. This way we can see, you know, we can start to see what it's actually the end result is going to look like, which is, uh, which is nice at this stage of the build. Obviously got to light up the gun rack. Now for some scenery, obviously I'm going to start off with the Nuka Cola machine because it's big and obnoxious and doesn't like being placed anywhere outside of the rug glitch, so here we go. Here's some rug glitching for you. Oh, it's beautiful isn't it? I love you rug glitch. Next is the actual counters, which is going to serve as our bar and table areas. I like this bit. Positioning them so that they're straight and parallel can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but just, you know, just bear with me. See, that's the tricky bit right there, making sure that they kind of weld together in the middle. Uh, but when you get it right, it looks fucking lush. Next thing is a bit more rug glitching to do the, uh, the corner bar. I like it when I do this because when you get rid of the rug, as you'll see, it actually sinks into the ground nicely, making it look like sort of a, sort of like a feature. Oh, look at that. Brilliant! I 
really wasn't sure to put where to put these when I first done this, so uh, I do apologise for my dicking around. Cue the music. Wonderful. Next is a bit more lighting. I like these because you know, if you're uh, over the age of 18 and have ever been to a bar or a pub, then you'll know that in some pubs and bars, they have um, those sort of lights that are sort of run along the bottom of the bar. And uh, I think you can replicate this pretty well with the old industrial lamps. So yeah, looks pretty good. More bars. Sorry about that. Took me an hour and a half to find that fucking cigarette machine. More lamps. You can really start to see at this stage what the end result is going to look like. Very pub-like if you ask me. Next bit I thought I'd throw some rugs down because whenever you go into pubs and bars you always find that they've got that weird, ugly strangely colourful carpet that I assume they used to hide all of the beer stains and whatnot. So yeah, I tried to replicate that here with some rugs. Not going too mad because I do like the wood aesthetic, but yeah, there are a couple in there. Next we have the actual placing in of the bar. We're actually going to rug glitch this inside of the counter so it looks like the person at the bar is actually serving at the bar. You'll see what I mean. This bit's a pain in the arse. Cue the music. Fuck it. Three rugs. Yet again, another bit that's a pain in the ass, making sure this is in the middle of the bar and straight. You don't have to do this, but you know, I'm, as you know from my previous episodes, I'm pretty anal about things being straight. As ironic as that sentence sounds. Next we're going to do a bit more lighting again, utilising the infamous rug glitch. You'll like what I do with these. Once again, three rugs. Three rugs is the way forward. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Trying to line these up in the centre of the circle, which again, is a pain in the ass. Next 
next are the actual bar stools. I really like the ones with the red top because I find them to be the most authentic in their aesthetic. And once again, lining everything up that doesn't snap in this game is a pain in the arse, so do bear with me. More stalls. By the way, I know you can't hear this, but that uh, that light, that spinning fan light there, is actually banging against the uh, the bar stand, which is making this horrible knocking noise. And I very much wish to get rid of that. Sorted. Now for the upstairs. More bars. More stools. Out here I think a nice patio table as you always see these outside of pubs in their little beer gardens. I like to mix the chairs up a bit just to give it that element of, you know, wasteland shittiness. <music> Fucking stairs. <music> and we'll pop a light in just below the stem. Just so you know, at night you can actually see shit. See your drink, more importantly. And some plants, because plants. I tried to mix it up a bit, but wow, does that one look like a pile of shit. Fuck's sake, don't you hate it when that happens? And a radio, because, I'm sorry, but Atom Bomb Baby is a tune. At this stage, we are almost there. Now it's pretty much just window dressing. Sorry about this little amateur hour. I just realised that those lights weren't actually being powered. So, uh, yeah. Slap a couple of more conduits on. Sorted. Some no smoking signs, obviously, because they're in every fucking pub nowadays.
another fan light because fans. And a nice Minutemen flag all lit up with a nice industrial lamp because Minutemen flags, they're blue, they're nice. And a couple of paintings everywhere because nowadays you always see like you know the old road signs and old paintings are like dotted around pubs. Really can't wait until this update hits so we can put some real signs around our uh, pubs and bars. Noticed a rather empty looking wall over here, so I thought big painting might mess it up a bit. Turn the radios on to jazz up the place a bit. You can see me here looking at my bar, noticing a severe lack of staff. Sorry about that digging about guys, I totally forgot about the light that goes up here. And then I tried to do the rug glitch across some stairs. So yeah, amateur hour, I do apologise. Look at that, these lights fit lovely don't they? And that just about wraps it all up guys, I thought I'd quickly show you what this actually looks like in like broad daylight, you know, sun shining and all that. Uh, in my opinion it does look nice as does uh, most buildings and things that you make in settlements, they usually look better during the day because you know you can actually see them. But as I'm sure you'll see, it does look quite good at night and I don't know if it's the pub aesthetic or the way it's lit or in areas the way it's not lit perhaps I'm not sure but yeah definitely definitely looks better out of a night time it's just a shame that um that your settlers don't work of a night time unfortunately uh, even though you know it's a bar they should still be at work so yeah thank you for watching today guys I hope you found this video useful or helpful in your future settlement building I was actually thinking of making this into a sort of mini series to run alongside my realistic settlement series sort of showing you sort of tutorials on like mini builds and small smaller buildings not whole settlements obviously but um yeah it's just sort of the individual parts of my settlements and how i sort of build them in a way to sort of suit the settlement itself but yeah i hope you found this video useful and uh, again thank you for watching if you haven't done so already please do remember to subscribe as that would really help me out a lot and if you have already done so then thank you for continuing to support my channel okay guys thank you for watching until next time.